City Stadium and Doydell Perry Field, the site for this college football contest. This coin toss presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The Falcons Bowling Green will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Patterson's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy, and let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 35. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Little handoff. And he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That'll make it second and seven. Pass and hit hard as he came down with it. From their own 39-yard line, it's third down. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 40. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He's pushed out of bounds at the 29. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Come on, let's go. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That's a game of five on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's level at the 40-yard line. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the official's judgments can have a big impact on a game. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick strike, and he drops it. Massey was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Let's go! Fires it out. And they push him out to 39-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. They'll spread the field with five wide. Sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. None. Back to return it. Knocked out of bounds around the 40-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's 
taken down at about the 37-yard line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 37. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up fourth and three. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Touchback. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. They bring him down. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this game, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. So the sack makes this a second and long. Here we go! And he is drilled at the 21-yard line. Well, he makes the tackle at the 21-yard line. Third down. Check 82, watch 82, ball coming 82. The pressure got there and it's intercepted. And down he goes at the 30. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. First and 10, ball on the 30-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Hey, defense, let's go. Keep it up, deep. Here we go, here we go. He's out of bounds at the 21. That's it's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. Gain of three yards. First down. Guys, it's situation. Let's go. Three, nine, go. Tackled after a decent pickup. We played one. Still no score. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Three yard loss there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Pressure coming. Tackle made at the six yard line. Gain of eight on the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's the halfback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're at the two. 
Second down. That is tight end touchdown. I like the call here. Well executed by the offense. You want to be sure you get six points when you're this close to the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. So an eight-play, 30-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Nice run to the outside. That's good for a gain of seven yards. He's into the open field. Runs outside for a nice game. Smart call here to trust your line and the ball carrier to gain the yards they had to for the first down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings up second and nine. And he's taken down at the 48. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Here they come. Plenty of time in the pocket. Tackle at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line. First down. Man can't tack on any yardage. That'll make it second and four. Throws a bullet over the middle. Brought down at the 36. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. The ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. From the 24-yard line, first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's going left. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. That's perfect timing between a quarterback and his wide receiver. He recognized the middle of the field was wide open, and I really thought the quarterback kind of looked the safety off to open that play up to the middle and then made the perfect throw for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards from their own 23-yard line. It's second down. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop at the 31. Tackle. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and four. Caught open field. He's to the 40. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 48-yard line. I really like going to the tight end here on third down. It's not even about the defense not expecting it, because I think they did. It's about mismatches. He's probably bigger and stronger than the guy who's trying to cover him. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. the middle for a nice game. Game of four on the play. That brings up second and five. Fumble! Picks up the fumble. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Yeah, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because again, passes to the left, and it's going the other way. He's tackled at the 41. Just a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. He's on the run, and they got him. The Bulls used their second timeout. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Five wide. Red, two, three, nine, go. Kill, kill, kill. Three, That makes it first and ten. In the shotgun and five wide out. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Complete across the middle. He's hit and taken down. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! He scrambled. He flings it, and they intercept it. The junior safety. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. a great tackle at the 22-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Two yards. That makes it second and eight.
So at the end of the half, we're even at seven in this one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The first half was far from perfect in terms of ball security, but, but it wasn't really that sloppy. Uh, many of the errors seemed to be errors of aggression, maybe fighting for extra yards, trying to make a play. So maybe you look at it from the standpoint, David, both teams feel as if they have a chance to take control of the game, they'll just cut down on the mistakes. Yeah, you, you had successful drives, you had successful plays, but you keep making mistakes that keep setting you back. And it's always tough because running backs, they want to get those extra two, three, four, five yards. But a lot of times reaching that ball out or not tucking that ball away properly is more damaging than getting that extra yard. And so quarterbacks, they want to make the home run play. They want to throw it down the field, throw that nice little pretty fade where the girls are going to be talking about it later and they're going to be looking really good after the game. Sometimes you got to throw it away, throw it in the stand. So whichever team can right that wrong, can get those turnovers fixed, Offensively, they'll be fine, and defensively, it even helps them even more because it doesn't put them in bad situations. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, but I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But hey, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. From his own goal line. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. This is incomplete. Morris was the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28. Makes it out to about the 36. Call the game of eight yards. That makes it third and three. Makes the first down catch. He's taken down around the 46 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. Side left, side left. That brings up second and nine. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Here we go. He's, he's, he's. And he's level. That's the 47. No gain. That'll bring up third and eight. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. He's, he's, he's. Here they come. Throws. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 18-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 16. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Let's go. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Bowling Green. They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. Yeah. 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 72-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 14-7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. And for Patterson, he may have been seriously injured on that play. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Throw in left. Almost picked off. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He goes out of bounds around the 32-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Rodgers will be the return man. Brought down at the 49. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Bowling Green up seven points. It's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. The Bulls running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. Give some credit to the ball carrier for knowing where the markers were, especially on fourth down. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. Second and four. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. And he hits him hard at the 32. And that's a game of one on the play. That makes it third and three. Tackle made at the 34. That is a loss of two yards. Fourth down. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Throws out to the running back, no good. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. That brings up second and nine. 
We've got a second and nine here. All on their own 35. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up third and two. And that one's incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And down he goes at the 30. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Bowling Green is up a score. After decent pickup. Tackle around the 38 yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. Third down. Brought down at the 39. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. All right, let's go. Get up, get up, get up. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. 14 7, Falcons. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. None awaiting the return. He's out to the 30. He's out of bounds at about the 35. I think we're getting to the point is who's going to crack first in this game. It's kind of a game of chicken. Which offense is going to be able to go out there and make a play against these two dominating defenses? Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 37-yard line, second down. They got to him before he could get back to the line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and ten. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Fumble. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. from their own 48-yard line. First down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Six-yard line. It's second down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. He 
He heaves it deep. Incomplete. incomplete. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Rodgers is back deep to return the punt. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Return for a game of 12 yards. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Bowling Green is up by a touchdown. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Buffalo's going to use their first time out of the half here. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's on the run. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. The defense puts an end to the no-huddle offense by calling timeout. Complete. He's got room. Brought down in the open field. So the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout. From the 41-yard line. First down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Have you ever heard of sportsmanship? You've got a huge lead and you're still throwing the football. Boy, this time is incomplete, which stops the clock. I'm going to start pulling for the defense to get back into this game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He makes his way to about the 32. We're at play number nine of this current drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. So that's going to do it. The Falcons get the victory. 14-7. 14. The Bulls, 7. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.